So this is from our friends over at Smart Scout. Yep. Let me get to that summary. I used to uh, be so on the top that list. cities for Amazon sellers, and I'll jump down to the graph here because that's the interesting part. Jeez. So <laughs> Amazon seller map shows a major shift with Chinese cities now dominating the top ranks for Amazon sellers world worldwide. Now this isn't brands; this is the actual seller on Amazon. Shenzhen leads with over 102,000 sellers fueled by its strong manufacturing base and direct access to supply chains. U.S. cities like New York, Los Angeles, and Houston remain important hubs, but face stiff competition from low-cost production and direct-to-consumer strategies by Chinese sellers. Los Angeles stands out for its logistics advantages, though overall Chinese cities are rapidly reshaping Amazon's marketplace. So, Really surprised me. I, I expected, of course, China to be so high, but it really surprises me but, how much higher they are to any city in the United States in terms of number of Amazon sellers. Now, yeah. I have a question about this list. So you see Sheridan mid or like kind of towards the bottom of the list. Is that Sheridan, Wyoming? Because a lot of sellers have their businesses headquartered in Wyoming. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think you got uh, it. Because that would be that was just my first guess there. I know Legal that's a popular... entity versus physical location. Yeah, but, right. Yes. But nonetheless, that's I think the, you know the the point Todd was making about China being so large. I see American sellers always worried about the Chinese. Always. Why? Yes. Yeah, same. They're freaking hijacking all the listings. They break all the rules. China is giving them favorable terms. Their governments is giving them favorable uh, currency exchanges. Amazon's uh, giving them favorable. <laughs> everything's going their way basically mm -hmm. yeah and and so everybody's sucking at the teat of china right now and that's a problem and so i do hope something changes with this uh you know i do think that the political landscape is on the verge of changing on this topic uh mm -hmm. and that we'll see you know a little bit more american protection against this but i'll tell you right now amazon is not doing us any favors right now yeah and yeah. let's let's be honest as well you look at the number of Amazon sellers. I'll bet you that's actually not sellers. That's accounts. Yeah. And how many wrong. accounts does like, I know <laughs> some Chinese sellers that go, Oh yeah, we've got met multiple oh, yes. accounts and we just oh, have 15 flop. accounts. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. You see that when they, they hijack listings, you yeah. knock one off and then all of a sudden, the next like whack -a -mole. One yeah. Pops up. So exactly. yeah, that's, that's a very good point, Dana. And how many of those are duplicate accounts for the same people yeah. or the same company? Yeah. And you know, the thing is though, is that, I, and I'm pretty sure this is how smart scout does this is they're finding a unique seller, not necessarily just on the, uh, the merchant token of that seller, but also the address. So, mm -hmm. you know, it becomes hard to find like, and, you know, do, do they have 50 addresses that they can use there? Oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I, I thought it's kind of cool, too, that, uh, you know, outside of China here, the top cities in the United States are Brooklyn is first, which I think Makes is sense. common knowledge. Yeah. Uh, Miami being second is is pretty cool, though. Yeah. I would have thought maybe Los Angeles would be second there are Los a Angeles ton is actually of here. amazon sellers down in miami eight oh yeah ton. oh yeah, yeah. It, you know probably a lot of people from la went to miami because of favorable taxes in that's florida that's true yeah that's very <laughs> that's true. true you know tampa used to be at the top of that list which is where i hail from and uh i'm not even on there which is surprising yeah i don't think let's keep going no not on the list there that's the full list there um so on your point, uh, Dana, I think you mentioned it about this becoming more and more of a political hot topic. I think you're you're correct because there's right now in the entire world, there's a major pushback against globalization and global globalism with, uh, you know, America first, uh, UK first, Italy mm -hmm. first, your country first basically yeah. is a movement that is going around the world, you know? which I fully support. I do. I do as well, because I think you should, obviously you have to be worldwide and, and think mm -hmm. globally. Uh, but, you know, putting yourself first in your country first is, is definitely important. So I could yeah. see, 
not this changing, but there's going to be a lot of waves in politics on this. Whether anything will be get done, that's a whole nother story, as we know, with the efficiency <laughs> of government. But some things will happen, whether they're good or not, will be remain to be seen. Yeah, agreed. I am optimistic. Yeah, you are. I I I am also optimistic, but I'm, I'm also t- I'm tentatively optimistic. Yeah, cautiously optimistic. <laughs> cautiously optimistic. Yeah. The, I, the question is, whatever gets done, is it is it the right thing to do, and is it helpful? Because yeah, a lot of times the government is, you know, five years behind or whatever the case when they finally finish a law, and then you're like, well, that isn't even a thing anymore anymore yeah or whatever well, and then- well there was a smart politician that other the other day said he might get rid of uh income taxes and replace it with tariffs and if that yeah. shit happens we're in great shape as an amazon selling community yep yep so yeah so- no matter uh, uh you know no matter what your opinion is whoever you're voting for just the idea of uh um, trump as the president elon musk in charge of cutting waste and then um kennedy in charge of food and health that just kind of blows your mind to even think of that i can just imagine musk over there he's like yeah and if you guys don't opt into the hell yes government you're out (laughs) (laughs) i finished this 26 hour uh biopic and and man that was an interesting read guys that dude is crazy and he is crazy yeah yeah so what do you i I think that we're gonna see some a lot of tribulation on important duties, no matter what happens. Yeah, it's it's one of those topics, uh, and we mentioned that last week too. You know, mm-hmm. Trump is in favor of tariffs, and then the the Democrats pretend to be against them, but, but haven't made in reality. Changes. They just they just kept all the tariffs pretty much that Trump had implemented. So mm-hmm. it's one of those things that. Uh, government likes to use we've always used it and it's not going away that makes money yep absolutely 